what up y'all welcome back we got another reaction for you class is now in session ding yeah i know i haven't done that in a couple of reactions but that's fine keep you on your toes we got divide music zuko let me see. zuko song no way out featuring chewy cat chewy cat i don't know why i started singing that but if y'all remember chewy cat was also on the daddy fat snap song who am i with zach boucher uh, he was on the chorus, so I'm excited to see what Chewy Cat's gonna do on this one. Chewy Cat, dope. If you haven't checked him out, yo, go check him out, man. But uh, let's get this. Production A1. Production A1. I like that. Talking about how pretty much all Zuko wanted was just to go home, see his dad. He's like, hi, dad. Hi, son. You know, nice hug. No Agni Kai burning a son's face. Um, and if and really for the whole, almost most of book one into book two, I would say Zuko was kind of just adrift. Like his dad's like, listen, you're exiled until you can find the Avatar. And he's like, okay, okay. And then he finds the Avatar. And then the Avatar's like, all right, fine. And then he's just like, who am I? What am I supposed to do? Who am I? But, like, he's very much always pressed against the wall because he has no respect. He has no one to, hold, like, no one to hold on to except for Uncle Iroh. So I really like how he's like, maybe he'll face me, not saying it, but talking about his dad. I really like that. I really like that. I love Divide because Divide will give you the, the, the referentials, but you just won't always notice that the referentials because they're just so applicable in a larger scheme. Shout out, Uncle! That's a good line. I like that. That was a really, really smooth, beautiful chorus. Always on edge, I don't know why you take me as I am. Always on fire on the inside, please help. Before we even get to that, Chewy Cat came in slaying on the vocals, keeping that same energy, making it this like deep, heartfelt look into Zuko as a person. I, I really love the the only one who ever made me feel alive and looked out for me. Like, and I love how they're not even saying it. They don't have to say Uncle Iroh because you can take this song, put it against your real life, and you can think of that one person that always been by your side, always held you down, always cared about you. And if you're struggling to think of that one person, maybe that person is in your future and you will eventually find that one person that will make you feel that way. And I just really love the fact that they both had that approach of, yes, we're talking about Zuko, but we're talking about a story that a lot of people can relate to. So Chewy Cat, hats off to you. Man, that was gorgeous.
fantastic song. I honestly think my favorite single line, like if I were to like quote this song on like a, a, a really angsty Instagram post, um, it would probably be, I can't erase my past. My demons will protect it. I don't know. I, I do know actually what I, I love the, 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 the tone because it's not hopeless. It's not, Oh, like I can't erase my past. Like, no, like I can't erase my past. My demons will protect it. See, my heart and my head had never been connected, but there is a way forward. And I just, I just love, I just love how, the, how that that line can be just taken and really held on to. Uh, divide music, man, you to go. Like you, <laughs> what, what, what I gotta say that hasn't already been said. Chewy Cat came in again. Fire on the features. Go check them out. But that's it, y'all. Class dismissed. Professor Curl out. I'll see you on the next one.